good evening everyone uh, welcome to my youtube channel so today we will uh, discuss about uh, recruitment of qualcomm in my previous video uh, i discuss uh, about uh, recruitment of uh, texas instrument uh, intel abb uh, colin space and lnt so in the upcoming uh, videos also i will be uploading about uh, the recruitment of different companies okay so today we will discuss about uh, recruitment of qualcomm everything will be discussed uh, the eligibility criteria and the written test what type of question they have asked in the written test and the interview questions okay so these things uh, we will discuss so uh, my channel name was uh, gate helper for engineers previously so now i change uh, to my new channel name it, i change it to uh, rename it to uh, beat the tech uh, which means uh, beat the technical interviews okay so that is what my main, uh, main name is uh, so that i can help people uh, in beating the uh, in qualifying uh, the technical interviews or beating the uh, technical interviews okay so my new channel name is uh, beat the tech okay so yeah so today uh, we will discuss about uh, everything uh, about uh, the equipment of qualcomm okay so everything we will discuss in this uh, about uh, you know written test eligibility as well as interview questions okay so yeah so first of all uh, we will discuss about the eligibility criteria like uh, in my college when qualcomm came uh, so these are the eligibility criteria what uh, they have put and uh, these are the branches uh, they have allowed uh, btech csc ec and triple e branch to sit in their placements and mtech csc triple e and ec branch okay so these are the uh, uh, this uh, mtech uh, triple e as well as ec all specializations was allowed to sit in the qualcomm okay so the CGP, uh, cgpa criteria must be greater than 7 that is your btech as well as mtech uh, must be greater than 7 okay uh, so these are the things and uh, class 10th and 12th percentage must be greater than 60 percent uh, so in my college uh, they have came for uh, two profile roles one is hardware role and other one is software role okay so basically uh, so anybody can uh, apply for any roles so uh, so the, that's that's the things so completely in the in the google form only they gave you options to apply for the roles and it was there that uh, one person can apply for only one role so no no uh, one person cannot apply for two roles he have to apply for only for one role okay so and the they, they uh, almost all the companies have this criteria that there should not be any standing backlog that is if you are in your btech uh, currently pursuing btech then you should not have any in any live back, backlog in that or your mtech so you should not have and uh, you should not have any pending backlog okay so that we will discuss today <coughs> so yeah eligibility i have discussed so uh, first of all what uh, this question always came uh, in our mind when we were preparing for uh, companies like which subject should i uh, you should prepare for the written test of qualcomm so that i will discuss yeah so these are the subjects uh, that you should prepare uh, for qualcomm uh, written test analog electronics uh, digital uh, this uh, this subjects i am discussing uh, mostly for, for uh, electricals as well as uh, electronics engineers Okay. as well as instrumentation also if uh, they are uh, s uh, sitting on this uh, drive they can also they have also have to study about these subjects okay so uh, mainly this this subjects i am discussing on the behalf of electricals and electronics engineers okay so these are the subjects you have to prepare for the written test like analog electronics digital electronics electrical circuit emt communication and c c plus plus okay even if you are from electrical or electronics background you have to uh, like give this paper of uh, c c plus plus also okay so uh, uh, before going to the next slide yeah this is the uh, uh, reasoning and aptitude these are the topics that uh, mostly ask in the all the placement exams uh, these are the like area in which uh, they do ask in the reasoning and aptitude so these all portions you have to prepare well uh, maybe there are one or two more uh, more topics that you have to cover so but you have to cover it properly because uh, uh, their uh, accuracy a lot matters a lot uh, in very limited time you have to do a lot of questions so you have to prepare well all those topics okay so yeah so after that i will discuss uh, about uh, the written test so first of all in this in this qualcomm we have uh, three sections uh, of questions so in the first section we have uh, 20 questions that you have to do in 30 minutes and that first section is uh, aptitude and reasoning okay that's the that's your first question and this section is common for all the branches okay is either you're from csc or electrical uh, this this uh, this first section is common for all after that there is section 2 for section 2 we have a c c++ basic coding 
basic coding mcq only it's only 20 questions you have to do in 30 minutes the the section one is uh, 20 question aptitude in 30 minutes and section two is uh, 20 questions uh, mcq in the c c plus plus okay after this this all this is also all this is also common for all the specialization after that third section you have to choose third section you have to choose that uh, which section you want to choose okay so in that if you are from cse engineers if you are from cse engineers then uh, then uh, you have to uh, go for the software profile or you have uh, there are two sections and if you are from electronics or electrical then you have to choose the communication part so this is for section 3 okay so uh, in the c c++ mcq type that is section 2 if i say so in that mostly questions uh, was from uh, like uh, data structures structure topic is there so mostly questions are from structure portion and array and pointer okay so these are the mostly three topics and uh, one or two questions was from the uh, from uh, for and if and else so in which you have to uh, find out like take uh, take on the right what should be should be the output of this following code so these type of questions for there okay so mostly questions was i think a uh, 50 to 60 questions were from uh, uh, structures and all okay yeah so this is section two section three you have to choose if you are uh, uh, applying for a software role or a hardware role that is you have to choose your uh, core subject okay so electronics portion must be uh, mostly they are written about the communication part so that you have to select in the communication part this type of question this subject will be there so the, uh, in the communication part also that is in section three also we have 20 questions uh, in we have to do in 30 minutes and that 20 questions are this uh, they uh, like are coming from these subjects okay so mostly uh, the level of question paper is almost gate level okay maybe digital electronics they have focused more and uh, and this adc part of the and the logon electronics we have adc so that also they have covered and they have asked some uh, difficult questions from the digital electronics first main uh, digital electronics uh, subject mainly okay other subjects were quite easy uh, but digital electronics questions were quite difficult okay so these are the subjects that you have to prepare well uh, for the written test okay so uh, just go through completely about the previous year gate questions so of uh, for electronics as well as electrical uh, also because in electricals also digital questions are very typical in the gate exams so you have to prepare past 10 or 15 years uh, question uh, from gate okay so that is what the level of uh, question paper they have uh, so like that you have to prepare for the written test okay after that uh, so this reasoning also you have to prepare so uh, those who will clear they have they will have to give this interview questions so now i will discuss uh, interview questions okay of for qualcomm yeah so first of all interview start with the introduction okay a general introduction they will they will, they will tell you to give okay so in this in the upcoming videos i may be making video on how to how to give an introduction in your technical interviews maybe i will be making videos on this okay so inter, uh, interview start with the introduction after that they have asked me about uh, they have asked me uh, btech and mtech project okay so in this they won't ask me deep questions but yet they have asked questions a bit uh, some like they have asked questions like something uh, a good level of question they have asked but not that much depth okay so almost if i could remember that they just want to uh, get the logic what logic you are, you are what concept you are applying in your project so that much that should be clear okay yeah so after that uh, after that yeah after the almost i think uh, 10 to 15 minute discussion was there uh, on the, this uh, btech project and mtech project after that they asked me this question like uh, what is full adder implementation of full adder with the help of following sequential circuits okay so you have to implement the full adder with the help of these following circuits okay half adder nand gate uh, 4 into 1 multiplexer and decoder okay so these are these are the first question they have asked uh, after this they asked like uh, what is a uh, cmos inverter what is uh, cmos inverter and how it works and draw its circuit diagram okay so then uh, some questions was related with fir and uh, iir filter uh, some some question they have asked on this topic so next question uh, the some questions was related with delay in a sequential circuit okay and then uh, then next question was uh, what is the noise margin and questions related with it so mostly questions uh, was from uh, digital electronics portion only and and there was one more question uh, uh, relating uh, uh, related with adc uh, some questions was, uh, was there from adc part and then some question was from uh, mosfet side also okay? like uh, like some questions related with mosfet and all 
that they are asked okay so yeah so uh, next question was this what is the noise margin and question related with the noise margin and the next question is uh, vi characteristics of nmos and pmos for different gate voltage and the question questions on uh, wireless communication okay so uh, whatever i have shown uh, in my uh, slides that you have to prepare that subjects which i have discussed that uh, subject i had discussed uh, in uh, while i keep in mind that both that subject will be sufficient for both uh, your uh, written as well as technical interviews okay so that subjects uh, is very important to prepare then the question was a question on the mos uh, mos capacitance and the effect of gate voltage on different mos capacitance okay questions on mos capacitance and effect of gate voltage whatever gate we are giving a uh, gate voltage we are giving its effect on different mos capacitance okay so like then next question was uh, why we use nmos as a pull down network and pmos as pull up network okay then impl uh, implementation imp uh, this question they have asked they asked them to draw that implement 4 into 16 decoder with the help of 2 into 4 decoder then in the cmos inverter if we interchange the pmos and nmos then how this circuit works okay so they have asked too much questions from a cmos uh, or from pmos they have asked so much questions uh, yeah one more questions was uh, there from the cmos topic is this uh, draw uh, yeah yeah uh, give me the uh, cmos logic for nand gate there was one more question from the, which i have forget to written like give me the uh, cmos logic for nand gate okay yeah Uh, then uh, at the end they have asked questions uh, related with the basics of say structure array and uh, pointer and all so that they have asked okay after that uh, after that uh, there is a hr interview after after the clearing of uh, technical interview there is hr interview so in hr interview uh, it was just uh, simple in the hr interview mostly they have asked about my introduction uh, about my family background and then uh, some questions related with the uh, qualcom and then they uh, they asked me like uh, like uh, wh who are the competitors of qualcom in the in the market so this question they have asked and then uh, then they asked in the last they asked like uh, do you have any questions for me for us the interviewer asked me uh, so in such case you have to you always have to ask some question if interviewer is asking you like do you have any question for us you have to ask because you have to ask any uh, technically sound questions or that topic you have to discuss uh, which is like a challenge for the uh, for your company or, or like uh, qualcom and all so you should have uh, asked uh, questions whenever interview is asking do you have any questions okay so you just have to go through the company website and and all you just uh, read throughout that what on what uh, component of on what topic uh, our uh, this company is working so you have to ask okay so these uh, these are from hr interview they haven't asked too much questions from the uh, too much uh, typical questions from hr okay so yeah that's it uh, thank you and then uh, these are the so source of image i have used for the uh, for taking that uh, qualcom logo okay the source of image is google and the link is this okay so uh, at the end i will just uh, suggest you to prepare uh, very well the these subjects okay and yeah yeah this subject you have to prepare well and prepare well all the digital electronics questions as well as uh, some uh, questions related with mosfets and adc and all okay and cmos yeah to they ask too much questions from cmos uh, which includes pmos and nmos so complete what will happen if we interchange the circuit and all so that question they have asked okay and you have to prepare well uh, c uh, c almost all the companies either is core or non core they will ask uh, c questions definitely okay like uh, what is the output of the following code like uh, what is the error in this code like those questions they will ask so you have to prepare uh, well all these questions all these things okay so that's it uh, so if if you uh, if you have any uh, comments or you can if you have any doubt you can uh, uh, type it on the comment okay so these things i have hope it's going to helpful for you okay so in the upcoming videos uh, maybe i will making video on uh, western digital and uh, maybe or uh, some other companies or have else and all okay so please subscribe to my youtube channel so you will be very helpful for you for uh, in your uh, requirement uh, placements and all okay so thank you uh, good luck